Hi guys, this is part two of, ooh, of the collection series. So I have a few foundations, and more foundations I should say. So next I have the NYX BB Cream. Um, this brightens and smooths, uh, it moisturizes and illuminates. This is in natural, but it's obviously too dark for me. That's why I don't use it. Um, next, I have the Follicure Skin Evolution in 01 Alabaster. I hate this foundation. I got it off of Wish, hoping it would be good. It is not. It cost me like five bucks for this um, little thing i'd probably say it's like half a fluid ounce so you don't even get a full fluid ounce so definitely would not recommend that next i have the ba Carry canya babe skin pore eraser um and it's it's supposed to be like the maybelline pore eraser i believe as you can tell the package looks just about the same but the problem with this is it does not erase pores. It's also pink. As you can see. It does turn like clear. But it's still harder. And it doesn't like have a tacky feel to it. So it's really weird. Um, next I have the Nobby Concealer All in One. This is in medium beige. And I also have the LA Girls Pro Conceal in creamy beige so these were so um were they're supposed to be like a dupe for one another this one's like a dollar and i believe this one's like five dollars or something like that um they're just about the same except for i think the knobby has more in it let's Five. Yes, so this is 0.35 and this one is 0.28. So they're decent. They're both really good concealers. I just didn't get my shades, so I can't use them. But definitely recommend both of these. So next I have... Ooh. Ooh. Some more foundations for you. So this is the Rimmel Clean Finish Matte Foundation in soft beige. This is the last one, but I wanted to try out the formula to see if I liked it. It's decent. Just obviously it's not my color. So that's the problem I have with it. Next foundation is the Rimmel Matte Perfection. Um in 120 or 100 ivory love this foundation i just found a better one that i like right now that i'm testing out next we have another sassy and chick bb benefit cream this is um has acne treatment in it like i said with the other one in my last video if you want to see that i will link it down below is I use these more for a primer than I do for a foundation because they have absolutely no coverage. But yeah, these are pretty interesting finds, I guess. They're only a dollar, so it's not bad. Next, I have the Flower In Your Prime Perfecting pa Primer. This does nothing for you. It literally puts a little bit, it doesn't blur pores, it doesn't smooth anything. I just, it it moisturizes a little bit but that's kind of it um so i would not recommend this to you guys next i have a few more palettes so the first one is the flossy sunflower pal sunflower palette hold on this is in bronze this is like a dupe for the kylie palette that's what it looks like uh, one of my favorite palettes. I have its sister palette, um, the Valentine's Day one, and it's not as good as this one. But I absolutely love this palette. So definitely check it out. You can find them on AliExpress for like 3 or 
and it's a great palette so definitely check this one out next i have the diamond cosmetics palette it does not have a shade or a color or a, sh a shade like like a like what it is exactly but it looks like this it's a really nice palette i just um, it's not as pigmented as I would like it to be, so that's kind of why I don't use it. I have better ones. Next palette I have for you is the e.l.f. Everyday Eyeshadow Book. Um, it does have a little mirror, so that's pretty nice. And nine shades. They're decently pigmented, but I don't feel like I could get a full look out of this. So that's kind of why I don't use it. But it's it's decent. I wouldn't like call it amazing or anything, but it's it's all right. Next, I have a highlight palette. This is the Pro Fusion Studio Highlight Palette. I am so sorry that this is so dirty, but it's a really good highlight palette, and it is six dollars. I got mine from Melrose, I believe, or something to that effect. Um, yeah, but it's six dollars. It's a really good palette and it's decent size. So, and the pans on this are huge. So definitely check it out. You could also contour or bronze up with the bottom three shades, but there it's a really good palette. So I would definitely recommend checking this out. Next, I have ooh, I have one more eyeshadow palette, which I mentioned in my last collections video this is the pro fusion natural eyes palette and this is what it looks like it comes with a dual ended brush kind of like the kylie palettes do normally i believe the double sided one it's a blending and one's a flat brush so it's really nice i believe this one is six dollars as well and i really the case is really nice and i just i love this palette it's definitely one of my favorites so definitely check this one out next i have oh wow sorry guys my leg is like cramping up okay so next i have two sets of blushes uh this one is from a z i z a um it has Sorry about that. It has two blushes in it. They're both really nice. Uh, one is a little too light for my skin tone, but uh, as you can see it there, and then there's the darker one. This is a really nice like kit type deal. Um, if you want to kind of like play around with blushes. They're really nice as eyeshadows as well. Next, I have a Colors Made blush. I have another one in, like, peach or something. This is in Mob Alos. Alos? Um, that is what it looks like. It's a little lighter than the shade down here. Um, really like these blushes. They're very pigmented. They can be a little hard to work with because they blend really nicely, but it's a little hard to make sure you don't blend it all the way. Next, I have the Laura Geller Blush and Brighten in Peach Nectar. I am obsessed with this blush. Look at how gorgeous that is. Uh, so, that's what it looks like. It is just gorgeous on the face i am obsessed with this blush this is probably one of my favorite blushes that i've ever owned so definitely check this out um then i have a bunch of eye products so i guess we will go through these quickly i'm not gonna stay talking about them for too long but we'll kind of just like touch them for a few minutes so the first one is the Rimmel London Volume Accel Accelerator um, in Extreme Black. It's just a mascara. Next, I have the Revlon Lash, Lash Pro Potion in Black Blackened Brown. 
Next, I have the Rimmel London Lash Accelerator Serum. Then after that, let's put this back. I have the Color Workshop Mascara Defining. I also have their very black one and their large lash oops one as well these mascaras are very cheap and they're really decent quality lastly for the color workshop i also have their lift and curl mascara in black by the way all of those are in black next i have the the luminous feline in black by L'Oreal Paris. I really love this mascara. I'm just testing out a different one right now. This is also Illuminating Mascara by JB Cosmetics, I believe. And then I have the Milani Lash Trifecta. It lengthens, curls, and separates lashes. I haven't actually used this one, but I've heard that it's pretty good. So I'm excited to try that one. Then I have the Maybelline Lash Sensational Fully Fan Effect Mascara. Um, I love this stuff. It is amazing. Next, I have the Ellen Tracy Lash Primer. I also have the Wonder Brow. Ignore the chewed up part. My dog literally just stole it from me and started chewing it. Um, in Blonde. Now, this stuff lasts for days, but I do not like the applicator. But it's a good product, so it's still, yeah. Last, I have a few more little products to show you. They're kind of like samples. First, the Santa Fe Waterproof Eyeliner. It's a gel, or not gel, it's a pencil on one end and then a liquid on the other. This is decently well, except for that it bleeds, or the liquid part does, anyways. Next, I have the Eye Primer by Mary Kay. It's their signature one, I believe. Next, I have a Physician's Formula Liquid Eyeliner. Uh, eyeliner and it's a shim one of their shimmer strip ones then I had the uh, bold lash color workshops one it's a sample as well then I have the Elizabeth Arden ceramid plump perfect um, I'm not sure what this is Oh, this is to help, like, with lines and stuff, like, on your face, like, wrinkles. And then I also have the Color Workshop Mascara Clear Lash Gel. Um, I believe this is white. No, it is clear. Okay, this is a good lash gel. Um, definitely would recommend it to you guys. And so... Um, then I have the Mineral Loose Powder. Don't ask me what color it is, but this is what it looks like. And it's pretty much just like a, it could be a highlight. Um, or it could be like an eye, uh, eye color or something as well. Good product, really liking it. Um, am I missing anything else? And then if you guys are excited to see all my, my lip stick, lip gloss, my lip collection, then that will be the next video I film. See you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Bye.